one of the things I love about this plant in Jackson Center, Ohio, is you can see a travel trailer built from a single rivet where we start to a finished unit all under one roof. We start in the shelling area where we take the aluminum ribs and we bend them to the shape of the travel trailer. Typically, the travel trailer, you take a chassis, you put the floor on it, and then you start setting cabinets around the outside. And then you plumb and wire everything, and then you put the walls on in the end, you put the roof on, and you've got an RV. Because of our construction with all those holes and all those rivets that have to be bucked perfectly, we can't build a travel trailer that way. We have to build the entire outside shell, windows, roof vents, doors, luggage doors, everything, seal it up complete without any interior in it. And then we attach the, the rib sections, the walls, and the ceiling, and the end shells into this beautifully self-supporting structure, this big pill made out of riveted aluminum. So it's really a complicated thing, and everything's got to bounce down the road and travel through a hurricane and get rained on and frozen and fried. Then once it's on the chassis, all the systems have to start going in. It's plumbing. 12 volt and 110 volt electrical. Hot and cold water, waste plumbing, LP gas. It's like your house plus a couple systems you don't have. And then we put it in the water check booth where we spray it with hurricane force winds and water for 20 minutes with someone inside looking for leaks because if there is a leak, we can repair it easily before the stuff goes on the inside. We don't find many leaks, but it happens, and when we do, we fix them. Once that's done, then we start bringing everything in, and everything has to fit through the door. So all of our furniture has to be designed to a certain size so you can carry it in and assemble it inside the unit. The magic element, the magic connector in this Airstream trailer is this solid rivet. And the interesting thing about solid rivets are it takes two people to put everyone in. You need a guy on one side with a rivet gun, but you have to have a guy on the other side with a bucking bar to flatten that rivet out. Working together over time, they develop this rhythm, they understand how fast the other guy moves, how, how quickly, where they're going to place the next rivet, and every one of those rivets has to be perfect. You put it in, you listen to it. You can tell by the sound when it's fully bucked. So it's the kind of thing, again, you can't teach overnight, you can't learn overnight. It takes months of experience, and then these teams have to learn how to work together. These guys are excellent, and uh, they love what they do. They, they understand that their part of this puzzle is a pretty important one, so they do a great job. It's not as efficient as the way most RVs are built, but for the way we do things, it's the only way to do a real quality job. So that's the way Airstreams have been assembled for, for decades and will be for decades more.